This is News 3 at 6 with Sue Manteris and Jim Snyder. Play so, Kevin, because Las Vegas' Ski and Snowboard Resort opened today and the slopes were packed with people anxious to test out the trails. News 3's Matt Kozar reported from the chilly, snow-covered foothills of Mount Charleston. It couldn't be a more beautiful day on the slopes. Organizers expect a thousand skiers and snowboarders to come today. Throughout the whole season, they're predicting 65,000 people from around the world will come to Mount Charleston. The lift lines are long as ski enthusiasts jockey to get to the top of the hill. Skiers and snowboarders have 11 trails to choose from, and this weekend, the resort says they're offering $10 discounts on passes. They typically cost $50. Because Mother Nature has yet to dump significant snow on the mountain, officials are relying on snow machines. The reason we can farm snow in the Mojave Desert is because our base lodge is at 8,500 feet. Uh, our runs go up to almost 9,500 hundred feet and uh, it's always cold enough up here but oftentimes we don't get the storms like we would like. There's about two feet of snow on the slopes half of which is natural the other half is man-made which they do using machines like this one they have about a dozen on the trails skiers and snowboarders are hoping the snow keeps on coming. Reporting from Mount Charleston Matt Kozar News 3. The resort also offers daily shuttle service to Mount Charleston from Town Square and Santa Fe Station Casino. Rides on the shuttle will cost you 20 bucks. It's fun up there, and it's such a quick trip. It's Isn't it great. great we have our yeah. own place down here? Yeah, absolutely. Love it. Hey, if you 